Hello, today we'll be focusing on the many impacts of Greece. One famous example was a man by the name of Pythagoras. Pythagoras was born in Samos, Greece in 570 BC. He was a great mathematician who also studied philosophy, astronomy, and music. One of the things he was most known for is the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem is a formula used to find a side of a right triangle if you already know the other two sides. We still use this formula to this very day in architecture and building. Pythagoras' Pythagorean Theorem had a major impact on the legacy of Greece and our world today. Next up on our list is government. Places like Athens and Greece have used the earliest form of democracy that we know of. We here in America have adopted many parts of our government from Athens. As in Athens, they voted for who they wanted to be the leader and if they wanted to go to war. We still do this here in America, but many things have changed, as now men and women can vote and not just land only men. This was a great impact on modern times because it influenced modern day democracy. One Greek philosopher is Plato. He was a very famous Greek philosopher in his time and is still today. Plato has written over 50 books and countless more were written about him. And his most famous book, The Republic, attempts to describe what justice really is and how it should be solved. Here are some quotes from Plato. Be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. Wise men talk because they have something to say. Fools because they have to say something. And lastly, my favorite one, we can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy, tragedy is when men are afraid of the light. The impact he made on modern times was by influencing modern day judicial system. One of Greek's most prominent buildings is the Parthenon. It was a temple built to honor the goddess Athena and was located on a hill overlooking Athens. Most of the Parthenon is still standing, which is a huge achievement as it was built in 432 BC, meaning it was around 2,500 years old. The columns are the real reason that the Parthenon is still standing today. The Parthenon's columns were Doric style. They were simple and basic. This had a huge impact on modern day architecture as we still use the building principles that they used over 2,000 years ago to make our buildings more sturdy. Drama played an immense role on Greek culture. The main purpose of plays in Athens was to worship their gods. If you look behind the ruins of ancient Athens, you will see that the theaters spread around the city. Only men played roles in the plays, and the, even the role roles. They never actually showed any expression in them. All expressions were showed through their masks. Today, we don't use many of the same ideas that their drama was based on, and now we don't make many satire plays or plays about gods, but we do have the same play principles, like a curtain closing in between scenes, and one person playing more than one character. This may have had a subtle impact on modern playwright, but there were still many things that we have adopted from Athens. Alexander the Great was a man of courage, who spread the Macedonian Empire through over two, two million square miles, which at that time was most of the known world. If the places Alexander conquered welcomed him, then he would accept their allegiance and keep going. If they resisted, he would bomb them to the ground and build a new Greek style city above them. His legacy was that he spread Greek culture all the way from the Mediterranean Sea to the Indian Ocean. And he is still the only reason that you find Greek-style cities all over Asia and Africa.